What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive domination gameplay on the map Freight. I'm pretty sure this was from a scrim. Uh, it might have been from one of the tournaments we've done recently. I'm not 100% sure. It starts to blur together a little bit. But uh, basically, before I get too much into this video, I need to kind of apologize to you guys. Um, if you guys are my subscribers and not just random people looking me up, which if you are, hello to you. But uh, everyone else, you know that I haven't been uploading recently. And uh, there's a couple reasons for it. Basically, I was really, really sick. Um, you guys kind of saw that in my last video. I was starting to get sick then, and then I got worse from there. Uh, you know, I was sleeping most of the day. I was only up for a few hours, so I didn't get much done. And on top of that, I started online school this week, and because of that, I got behind as well, because, you know, I was too sick to do some work on a couple days. So, things didn't go that well. Um, and then, you know, any free time I did happen to get had to go towards practicing with the team. So, you know, I just I didn't have enough time. I'm really sorry, guys, but everything should be going back to normal now. Uh, the regular upload schedule should be back, so that's good. Um, also, real quick, I should mention that this gameplay that I'm showing you guys is just the first half of the domination, and uh, it shows quite well why I don't like competitive domination because of the repetitiveness of it, for the AR role at least. You know, you're just going to pretty much one area and just locking it down the entire time, and it gets pretty boring, but, you know, it's... It's alright, uh, you know, I, I do pretty well, I slay pretty hard, so, help the team win a bit here, but, uh, yeah, so, this, the main thing in this video is going to be updates, and basically the first thing is that we do have a fourth now for our team, uh, I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to try out and everything, but basically, after all the, the drama initially, and then the not so dramatic parts after that, We've kind of come back to almost the same team. It's now myself, Plizix, Bugsy, and Quaddy. So we did pick up Quaddy as our fourth now. Uh, so basically what happened was after a couple team changes, we're pretty much back together. It's just now we don't have Dro or Hectic with us. Um, Hectic was, you know, his gamer tag, Dro's real name. So it's it's it is what it is uh we're doing all right as a team actually in this past week we've done about three tournaments uh one of them we got first place the other one's second and then another one third slash fourth two of those were actually with pickups for i think the entire thing actually one of them was that first place and the other one was the third slash fourth place so we're doing all right as far as those tournaments we've actually got a I think we've got two free entries right now into some paid tournaments. One of them we're doing this Saturday. Another one, I don't even remember what tournament organization it's with, so I don't know if we're doing that one. But, uh, you know, we'll be doing some more online tournaments. We're going to start doing those a lot more frequently. So look forward to that. I'll be, you know, posting some of those gameplays. And if I ever get some halfway decent internet, I'll stream as well. But, you know, I, I don't see myself getting better internet for at least another year. But... We'll see how it goes. Uh, next thing is that it's looking like we're 99% sure that we are going to a LAN event in March. And it's actually right at the end of it. It's on the 29th. Uh, it's the DXD Gaming Maryland Madness Tournament. It's a double elimination and it's a one day tournament. So it reduces the cost a little bit. And also two of our teammates are able to drive there so that also greatly re reduces the cost for them unfortunately i'm not one of the ones who gets to drive there i get to fly so more expenses for me but that's all right uh you know hopefully this event will help us land more sponsors and maybe get some land funding so you know we can go to more of these uh but yeah basically we're just going to be doing a bunch of online tournaments and scrimming until then trying to get as much practice as possible um, I guess I should give you guys an update. Right now, it seems, as far as our gameplay goes, our respawn has actually improved quite a bit. We've finally worked out some strategies for it, and now our S&D is kind of falling off a little bit. We're still really, really good at it, but I don't know. We, we seem to be lacking a few strategies on it for a couple maps. Either that or we're just getting, you know, overconfident, like, oh, S&D, we're, you know, S&D gods, and we don't quite pay attention as much I'm guessing I don't know it's, it's kind of hard to explain some of you guys know what I'm talking about but uh, you know I think we'll be able to lock down S&D fairly well and S&D is the most important in the series as you know especially for once it gets to best of fives 
And you know what? I think we're going to be able to win enough dominations and blitz to, to really go far in this lane event. So hopefully everything will work out. Um, oh, wow. We've also got to buy jerseys, too. I, I forgot about that. But I'll be, I'll be getting a jersey, too. I might do an unboxing video when I get that. And once we get to the LAN event, I'll try and record a vlog there as well. So look forward to that as well. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.